Oh, Hannah Washte. My name is Quanta Breitman. I'm executive director of United Native Americans. And I have an important message to share with our community, especially tribal community and globally. Um, you know, unfortunately today I couldn't make it physically up there to Sacramento. And I do apologize for the people who did show up, but uh, you know, economically I'm a little struggling right now. Uh, my vehicle's not exactly in the best of shape, but um, I did want to share this message with the rest of our community. Um, again, you, we as UNA, United Native Americans, you know, we denounce all the tribal disenrollments that are going on. We denounce this corruption, this tribal corruption that's become rampant and become basically a pandemic in our little tribal community. And we believe that tribal citizenship is sacred, that tribal citizens whom have been disenrolled unjustly and without due process are the victims of fascist casino Indians whom clearly don't understand the importance of creating a sustainable community for all indigenous tribal citizens to flourish in. We as United Native Americans again denounce all tribal nations and tribal councils that practice tribal corruption in honor of November being Native, National Native American Heritage Month, we demand that the 90 tribes who have disenrolled over 10,000, I repeat, 10,000 of our tribal citizens, our brothers and sisters, our cousins, our nieces, our nephews, aunties and uncles, be held accountable for their tribal terrorism and fascism in Indian country. We demand full Process, full due process for the illegal and non-traditional practices that tribal disenrollments and non-enrollments cause in Indian country. We demand that U.S. Secretary of Interior Deborah Hanlon and the California Nations Indian Gaming Association take legislative action to resolving these ongoing tribal pen, tribal issues of disenrollment. We demand that DQ University be granted a small fraction of the $7 billion annually gaming revenue that is generated here in California, and that each Native American studies program in the state of California and tribe in California help in restoring accreditation for the one and only intertribal college here in the state of California, where we have the largest consensus of Indians, both federally recognized, non-federally recognized, out-of-state Indians and California Indians. Our native, our American Indian community experiences the highest rate of poverty in the United States, still, even with this Indian gaming going on. According to the U.S. Census, over one in four American Indians are in poverty. This brings disappropriate incarceration rates, teen suicide, unemployment, high school dropouts, diabetes, domestic violence, and substance abuse. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the total population of Native Americans in the United States is roughly 6.79 million which is about 2.9% of the entire population. There are rough, there are about 574 federally recognized tribes here in the United States of America. We hope that all whom hear our resolutions to helping resolve tribal disenrollments and corruption in 2021 will support us and help us to create a vibrant community for all of us tribal citizens moving forward. Thank you very much. Look forward to speaking with you. Doksha.